So our polluted water is in there with our shells. So what we're going to do, we're going to shake these up. I'm going to get my workout. I like to stay in shape with the exploring. This is my little shaker weight. Do like this. Just like that. Of my pollution. Yeah. Yeah, stay in shape for y'all, see? So I can keep doing this. So, what are they going to have in our water? Well, well, it's going to be salty. It's going to be salty? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Watch up here. Let's see. So what happened to that pollution we put in there? Exactly. And why? It ain't Why? Because it's clean. It's clean. Exactly. The things in our, our clamshells. What's that? Is that what you What you say? What you, what you answer? It's filtering. It filters it exactly so. This is smart. I'm glad we came to you guys first. I really am. And exactly right. There's a chemical in the shell of all of these clam shells called calcium carbonate. Can you guys say calcium carbonate? Calcium carbonate. Exactly. Calcium carbonate is in every one of these clam shells and it helps naturally filter out uh, the pollution we may introduce uh, either intentionally or unintentionally. But how much pollution did I put in there? How much of that chemical did I put in there? Like three or four drops. But not a lot. And so Mother Nature can handle that. But what would happen if I put a lot more pollution in there? What do you think would happen? It would stay green. It would stay polluted. It would stay nasty. And what we're going to do in our experiment, we're going to see how, just like we help out mom and dad or whoever around the house with our chores to keep our environment clean, we're going to see how we can uh, help out Mother Nature shoveling, uh, shouldering some of her load and helping keeping their environment clean. So, we talked about recycling, we talked about ways to recycle water, making water clean, talking about how much water we use at the house. We use a lot of water. <laughs> like that? We've all been there, right? So where all do we use water in our house? The toilet, what else? Exactly. We use it in the shower, the tub, the sink, the fire hydrant, the garden hose. How many gallons of water do you guys think an average household uses a day? Over a million? Not that much. About lower than that. Lower than a hundred. But, but more than fifty. 70 gallons. You know how many 70 gallons is, guys? 70 gallons is like two full bathtubs. 70 gallons is, you guys know like a two liter of Coke? 70 gallons is like 34 two liters. So that's a lot of water, right? You said 34. 34, yes. So, and we're talking about pollution. How much pollution I put in there? Three drops? Three or four? Maybe three, maybe four. We're not sure. Uh, what would happen if I put 70 gallons of pollution? It would be so dirty. It would be so dirty because of all the pollution, all the stuff that we've been pouring down our drains, all of our chemicals, all of our human waste that we might be introducing into our environment, and it would be gross. So, what we're going to do, we are going to now see how we can naturally help Mother Nature out, filter, filter some of this water, and we're going to talk about three different methods of filtration and that's going to be our experiments. We learned about a little bit of chemistry, we learned about water filtration and things like that. So you guys ready to clean some of this water? You guys will see in front of you, each of your partners, you'll see some flasks, you'll see some beakers, and you'll also see some special tools. You guys have a beaker, let me put that on your beaker for one second. Thank you. This is our beaker, our 400 milliliter beaker. It has about 100 milliliters of water in it. You see that? All right. Is that water clear? Is that water clean? All right. What we're going to do now, in order to clean up this water, we actually have to either accidentally or intentionally pollute our water. So what we're going to do, you guys, in your heart, you will see that you have. The first thing you grab is a little container of confetti. Does everyone have a container of confetti? Right here. Everyone locate that. Everyone locate that. Everyone got their confetti. So, everyone have their confetti? You can pour your confetti. Everyone got their confetti? 
Oh, Alright, open it up. Oh, Pour it into your beaker with your water. All the confetti you pour right in there. All the confetti in the water. Yep. All the Dump it in there. All right. There you go. Everyone got that confetti in there? All right. All right. And we'll also see at your table, I took some of the great bag. We'll see another container containing some blue sand. Some blue sand. Not black sand. Blue sand. Blue. Not the black, the blue. Goggles on, guys. Goggles on. Exactly. Does everyone have their blue sand? Everyone have their blue sand? Everyone have their blue sand and we got it? You can pour that in too. Ma'am, right. put your goggles on, please. Thank you. And after that, Shaheen and Melissa are going to come around and they're going to put a few drops of some nasty black ink into your water. And that's going to be our pollution. So we put, what do we put in there? We put our confetti, we put our sand, we put our ink. And you guys can stir it up when your ink is in there. Stir it up, guys. Stir it up. With your spoon. And what is it look like? Yep. Yep. All right. Everyone's water polluted. What does our water look like? Does that water look good? No. You don't want to drink that water? You don't want fish in that water? You don't want to get your water out of there? All right. Now, guys, look back up here because we're going to get time to filtering our water. Boom, 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 Three different ways. You guys need to have anything in your hand, spoons, or anything else. So we're going to see where we're going to go. You guys put your spoons in and look right up here. We're going to have three methods of filtration with our polluted water. We're going to filter this stuff out one by one by one. So we're talking about three filtration methods. I want you guys to say these with me. We have seven. We're going to do that for seven. Then we also have number two. We have filtering. And then finally, our last one is going to be adsorption. Not absorption. Adsorption. Like add the paper, add two and two plus, add two and two and get it four. So, civet. Who has ever heard of civet before? Anybody? Besides Melissa, she doesn't count. Or Shahimi doesn't count either. Anyone heard of civet? Nobody? What about this? Does it look right up here. Has anybody seen this in the movies before? Someone panning for gold? And what are they doing when they're panning for gold? They're looking for gold. How are they doing? They have a pan just like this. And what do you guys notice about this pan? It's got holes in it, exactly right. What else does it have? It looks like has a screen on it, and that's so the larger particles can get through, the water can get through, but so our gold miners can connect, uh, collect little bits of gold dust. So, many of you guys ever seen one of these before? Now, what do you do with this? Mom, dad, who's making spaghetti and pasta? Pour the spaghetti and pasta. What gets through? Water. And what stays in here? The pasta, the noodles, and this, and our gold uh, panning for all forms of civet. So at your table, you guys have some special tools. And what we're going to see, which one of these looks most like a sieve? A what? A sieve. A sieve. What we were just discussing. Exactly. Our tea strainer. And that's going to be our first filtration method. We're going to sieve some of this pollution off. Thank you. What we're going to do. Listen, listen, listen. Not doing anything yet. We are going to set your tea strainer in your empty beaker, just like so. And then you. So one of you guys will hold the tea strainer over the empty beaker, just like so. 
while your partner holds pours your polluted water through the other beaker. Go right ahead. And make sure you get everything out of from the sand will stay in the bottom, and that's fine. And you can scrape, you can scrape the sand out of the food as well. Alright guys, and once you've done it once, that's a, that's a wonderful sound. <laughs> What we're going to do now, guys, I think you got enough sand out. I'm going to get all of it out. This and that. We are going to. We're going to take our strainer that's still filled with our confetti and sand and put it back over our original beaker and we're going to pour that water through one more time. So we're going to take this and put it right over here and we're going to pour our water through one more time. Just like we're panning for gold, we're going to pour that water through one more time. There you guys go. There you guys are. So what do you guys see in our siblings? What did we catch? What did we catch? The confetti. It's too large to get through our sieve. But what got through? Water. The water and what else? The sand, the sand, and that ink, right? So are we still, are we done? Is our water clean? No, we got more work to do, right? And this sieving is what's called a form of mechanical purification. Guys, you say mechanical purification? Mechanical purification. All that means is you use a tool to separate large particles from small ones, just like we did with our sieve right up there. And now we're going to talk about filtration. What does filtration sound like to you guys? Let me see a hand. You don't have an idea what filtration sounds like. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, like refill. Like refill. Who else has a filtration in my hand? Like clean. Anyone see one of these before? And how do we make coffee? We put a coffee filter in and that catches the ground and separates it from our liquid. You might even have a water filter on your sink. And all filtration means is you're separating solid matter from fluid. So you guys have another tool at your table. And this is kind of tricky. So I want you all to watch up here with me. We have something that may look a little bit like a coffee filter. We have some filter paper. One piece. We have two pieces, so get one piece. Look up front here because this is kind of tricky. So I think y'all can. I know. I know. Everybody, you know. everybody pay attention to Mr. Collins so they can show you how to fold it. Okay, we've got your filter paper. So what we're going to do, we are going to first fold our first piece of filter paper in half like that. So you have like a half moon. Everybody do that? We got that? Half a moon pie. We're good? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Yes. All right, rip. Yeah. All right. Now we have it half. Now we're going to fold it into quarters, just like this. So we have like a quarter moon shape, just like that. You guys good? You guys good? You guys good? You guys good? All right. And this is the tricky part. This is where you may get lost on the corners. We now have a cone shape, and all you're going to do in between, take off my glove. It's kind of hard for me to maneuver. We are going to open up the last corner so we have a cone shape just like that. Just like that. That's perfect. That's perfect. Just open one leaf of your cone. And we got that like cone shape. Good. Yeah, just like that. And what we guys are going to do is you have a funnel at your table. We are going to put our filter paper that's now in a cone shape in our funnel. 
There you go. Take it up in there. There you go. Everyone there? Everyone there? Everyone there? Everyone good? Throw your phone. Take your phone. So what we're going to do, guys, how many milliliters of water do we have in here? A hundred. Exactly. So what we're going to do, you guys remove your tea strainers from the top of your beakers. They're still there. And then you will set... And then funnel. What's that? Sure, yes, yeah, have your strainers put on the table. They're not on top of your table. You are going to set. No, you set that fine. Put your funnel into your flask. Does everyone have their funnel in their flask? It doesn't matter. This is a flask. Okay, so everyone pick one. It doesn't matter which one. Put that right in your flask. It doesn't matter which one. Yeah, either one. So, everyone there? So we have 100 milliliters of water. We're going to. Everyone got their funnel set? Everyone good? We are going to slowly, because just like it takes coffee a long time to filter, you guys are going to take and pour 50 milliliters of this water very slowly, because otherwise it will run over through our filter paper and through our funnel. You guys will see that it takes a long time to go through. Nice and slow. So don't let it overflow. So one of you guys hold the funnel, the other you guys pour. 50 milliliters. Exactly. One of you guys hold it, the other one pours. Exactly. One of you guys hold it, the other one pours. Okay. The other one Now look, it'll help if you hold. And you what's going through, guys? What's going through? Okay, and you tell her when to when to stop pouring. So that's your rule. Don't tell her anything. Yeah, just lift. Just lift. Just lift. It's slow. It takes time, right? Yeah. So as it empties out, you pour more in. Yeah. Stop when you got it lift. You there? You guys stop at fifty. You guys are good. Right. 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 Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay, 